Hello, I'm Dimiake Mwakalielie. And I'm Vincent Makori. This is In Focus. Now, Nigeria's acting president says he will reinvigorate the government's post-amnesty plans for Niger Delta militants. Good luck, Jonathan's comments followed the explosion of two bombs Monday during a discussion on the government's amnesty program. Viewer Scott Stearns reports. The movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta claimed responsibility for the bombings, which it says are meant to announce the group's continued presence as it warns of renewed attacks against Nigeria's oil industry in the coming days. Militants are frustrated with the pace of an amnesty program and say the government has not done enough to help people living in the area that produces the bulk of Nigeria's oil wealth. The bombs disrupted a meeting meant to address the government's amnesty program, which was launched last year by President Umaro Yoradua and convinced thousands of gunmen to lay down their weapons. Officials from states around the Niger Delta were meeting in Wari to discuss the program. Mike Egini attended the conference. Quite frankly, what has happened now is a major tragedy that at the time that we are seeking for solution, we are having more problems with the situation right here in the Niger Delta. Critics say the amnesty program has made little progress and has not sufficiently involved local communities. Niger Delta activist Ankio Briggs was at the meeting. If we don't confront the truth, the truth is going to confront us. What has happened here right now, a few minutes ago, is purely an indication that the amnesty never succeeded. If it had succeeded, you wouldn't have people who are dissatisfied. These are people that are dissatisfied. Acting President Goodluck Jonathan has approved funding to retrain former militants. Lagos-based attorney Florence Ikwagwu says militants should give him the chance to make good on promises to boost investment in the area. I really believe that men should give the government an opportunity to carry out its plans. It's all for the benefit of Nigeria. Personally, I hail from the Niger Delta region. I know that the area has suffered a lot of degradation in the past, but I think that those responsible for this should cooperate with government to see that there's an end. Um, to all the degradation and destruction going on at the moment. The bombings compound acting President Jonathan's security challenges at a time when troops in Plateau State are on high alert to prevent a renewal of ethnic and religious violence around the city of Jos. One of the reasons the amnesty program has stalled is the prolonged illness of President Yoradua, who's returned from medical treatment in Saudi Arabia but has still not been seen in public in 10 weeks. Acting President Jonathan is calling on foreign oil companies and residents of the Niger Delta to have patience in the government, saying he's determined to reinvigorate plans to retrain former militants and invest in the Niger Delta. Back to you in Washington.